Hello, I'm Fran Oseo Asari of Bait to Me, the African Culinary Network. And I should be packing for Brazil right now, but I have to stop and say thank you to all of you who have been helping get the word out about the Africa Cookbook Project that we made official at um, uh, TED Global in Arusha. And I, I thank all of you who are sending me things or have donated cookbooks um, or have told other people about it. And uh, I am actually want to introduce a clip that I'm going to be playing in a few minutes, but or a couple of minutes. But first of all, I just want to say thank you to Issa Debate, who this is my most recent cookbook. This is, uh, uh, he's in Cote d'Ivoire, and it's in French, and I'm working on my uh, French um uh, uh, aspect of the collection and my also my Portuguese uh, aspects of the collection and uh, that's the most recent book that I have and it just came a few days ago and I thought I would also show you this was my very first African cookbook and this was given to me by my sister-in-law in Ghana back in 1971 Ghanaian favorite dishes she kind of humored me by giving me a cookbook because you know if I were a real um, a really good cook. I wouldn't need a book, but that's another story. Um, thank you to all of you. Please keep them coming in. Um, Tom and Barbara Hale have just promised me their uh, West African cookbook collection when I get back from uh, sabbatical. And so thank you all of you, and please continue to get the word out. Um, please continue to send in books or get in touch with me about books that I ought to have in the collection. Um, remember that this is not a budgeted project. This is a grassroots um, project that's happening just because it needs to happen. Um, there needs to be a way to get information archived, and there needs to be a way to share that information, and there needs to be more respect and more awareness of how much actually has been written. And so... Um, Please support it and continue to tell people about it. There's a lot more inf uh, information, of course, at Bay to Me blog, or you can just go to www.baytome.com. That's B-E-T-U-M-I. Now, having said that, let's get back to the real reason I want to share a clip that I took uh, when I was helping Barbara Baita celebrate her 70th birthday and uh, 50 years uh, as a, a pioneering culinary professional in West Africa and in particular in Ghana. As some of you know, she's also my collaborator right now on a regional Ghanaian cookbook. I will be back in Ghana in January through um, July of 2008, and we hope to pull together the finishing touches on the book we've been working on now for two or three years. And it should be a real um, treat for those of you who are Ghanaian food lovers and have been waiting for the regional Ghanaian cookbook to come out. So uh, without further ado, let me just uh, mention that when I did sit down with Barbara for a few minutes, I asked her to share a couple of her favorite memories from her 50 years and two things that we talked about were uh, an experience she had with former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and also an experience with Queen Elizabeth II. So I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. You said one year Jimmy Carter that came and mm -hmm. had to have breakfast uh, with uh, the past president uh, Rawling mm -hmm. and he had to be a um, um, very early breakfast in the castle grounds. So we had to set up breakfast comprising of Ghanaian food as well as European food. And uh, we were set up by about four o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. And uh, six o'clock they came and had their breakfast. And I was so impressed by Jimmy Carter. After he finished, he said, I want to meet the people behind this beautiful breakfast. We had a tent set up in the garden. So he came behind the tent to come and thank us and congratulate us and share a cup of coffee with us. We I were so impressed. Right. He said, you know, have you had your coffee? <laughs> I said, not yet. <laughs> ah, let's have some. So he, we gave him a cup of coffee and he had a cup and thanked everybody yeah. and we were so 
uh, impressed I that somebody as big as him will come round to uh, where the action was, right. the tent kitchen, to come and thank all the people who provided the breakfast. Well, I think you said that no other head of state or anybody you've ever catered you've for has ever done, done that. You know. Come looking for you uh, no, to thank you no. for what you did. And you know the, the officials will come and thank you, but the the actual guests of honor to come behind the scenes mm -hmm. to come and say thank you was really a fantastic um, yeah. moral boost for all of us. Well, what about Queen Elizabeth? You told me a story about her as well. Oh, she used my little flat at the White of Lucy as a cloakroom and she also was very, very gracious. She signed the book that I donated to the White of Lucy when I left and um, I was impressed that when they came to inspect my little flat they, I said, hey, do you want to change the curtains? Do you want to change the floors? They said, no, it was clean enough. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you kept everything clean. And, I you know, the, all they brought me was a nice big bowl of red roses. That's all they sent from the, the state house. But everything in the flat was mine. Mm. They didn't even change the loo. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother provided the soap and an African stool where she you know, added to her makeup, uh -huh. and so my mother still got the, well, we had the soap somewhere, because <laughs> she took it immediately, the queen left, and wrapped it up in a <laughs> tissue uh -huh. as a souvenir. So, so that was what year about? Uh, the queen's visit was about 61, I think. Yes, yeah. And um, was the casa? Uh, I think around the 80 something. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, it was just I couldn't remember the details yeah. on those, and they were stories. I, I'm sure if that. I look for the the time, I will find it. Sure. But sure. it was one of the, his visits to Ghana during the the time of President J.J. Uh, Rowling, and they had a breakfast meeting in the castle garden. Mm -hmm. That he came all the way to the back. Yeah. to say thank you okay. and we thought it was fantastic thank you so much and just mm -hmm. uh, because I'm going to put this up on the internet mm -hmm. could you tell us um, how many years Flair will be celebrating again next year 40 years 40 years but I've been in food and hospitality industry for 50 years this year yes yes yes, yes. Oh, yes. I don't were, know you about were a that. pioneer absolutely. I don't know about yeah. that but I've enjoyed the yeah. 50 years of hard work thank you so much <laughs> okay Thanks. bye bye, bye.